morning, everyone. I hope you're having a great day. I hope the sun is shining where you are. Today, I'd like to share a few thoughts that I have about being an entrepreneur, uh, being self-employed, the times that we're in now with inflation the way it is. I'm sure we can all use a little extra money. So I thought I'd give you a, a few of my thoughts the way I think about being an entrepreneur. Now, I've got a cedar log laid up here that I'm gonna try to turn into some, some really nice cedar lumber. Cedar is one of my favorite woods as far as woodworking. There's just so many things that can be made out of cedar. Now this is what, the, what is called aromatic Eastern red cedar. And uh, I, I like in the, the winter time around Christmas, it uh, brings back a little nostalgia, a few memories of being able to smell some fresh cedar around Christmas time. So I enjoy that. Um, but as far as woodworking is concerned, there's probably a lot of you viewers that have a lot of hidden talent that you may not even be aware of. And I can tell you that one of the best ways to bring that talent out, if, if you can, if you like wood and if it's just, if it comes natural to you, there are so many different things that you can do with a piece of wood, especially cedar, for carvings, chess boards, just it is endless as far as a cutting board, charcuterie boards, and as a woodworker, doing the smaller projects like that, it doesn't really require a big investment up front for all the tools that you would need. It. You would just need some simple tools. But uh, I would encourage you that if, that if you have extra time, there, there's money to be made. We're using your talent as a woodworker. Start out as a carver, if nothing else. It is just endless of what can be made from a piece of lumber. And that's one of the things that I, that I love about a sawmill. I've been a woodworker all my life. I've been a carpenter all my life. Most of my life, I've done a few other things. But uh, this is my pride and joy. It, it just, uh, I get such a enjoyment. There's probably a better word actually, but I, I get such an enjoyment out of taking a nice log and trying to see if I can find some beautiful boards inside of that log. As a woodworker, I know about the grain. I know what I'm looking for. And that is what my sawmill is about. I'm a woodworker sawmill. Most of my customers are woodworkers. And that's just in my blood. I've been doing that for a long time. I'm going to saw this log. And after I saw this log, I'm going to see if I can find a few nice boards in here. But then I'm going to give you an example of what I'm talking about as far as an entrepreneur, self-employed, start your own business, goodness, folks. I remember a long, long time ago, I would pay 70 to $100 a month for a very small ad in a classified newspaper to sell something in the one ads. And today, you can post it for free and it reaches the whole world. So my point of view is if you need to earn, earn some extra money, there's a lot of ways to do that. You know, you don't have to be a craftsman to be able to earn extra money just by releasing some of your potential that you probably don't even know is, exist until you get into the love of wood. Now it's not for everyone but it's just most of my customers they have a they have a sense of relief at the end of the day when they can go out into their workshop and forget what's happened all during the day at work it's just a relief for them to be able to do that now a lot of customers are that way 
a lot of customers are just full-time woodworkers. They um, produce cabinets, every, everything you can imagine. There are so many products made from wood, made from a tree. I think I read where there's 5,000 products a day just in daily usage of everybody's home from paper to toilet paper to paper towels to anything you can imagine that you use on a daily basis. But overall, I believe there's probably, I think really close to about 18,000 and counting products that were made from a tree. So that's just unbelievable as far as the opportunity that, that there is inside this log. So anyway, I'm gonna saw this log and then I'm gonna show you an example of what I'm talking about from just uh, your imagination and a few, a few skills of uh, can you glue pieces together? Can you clamp? Can you nail? It's, it doesn't have to be really complicated. Just think about how simple a birdhouse is and the mason bee houses, the bumblebee houses, the woodworker bee houses, those are just simple products. And if you'll go to your big box store, you'll see them lined up everywhere for sale. And look at the price, and then think if you can do the same thing, and you just need to market it to a customer that's looking for that. So don't go away. I'm gonna crank this sawmill up, my beautiful wood miser, I love my wood miser. And we're gonna see if we can find a few of these boards. And this one has particularly been dried. And then I put one coat of a polyurethane so you can see that I love Eastern red cedar. It is one of my favorite woods. Now for you gentlemen that wanna take it a step further and get involved with a sawmill let me give you a few tips about that unless you're going to do it just as a hobby and i mean as a hobby you're only going to saw two or three logs a month you're going to want to invest in a sawmill that is fully hydraulic because one of the hardest physical jobs that you're going to have is with a sawmill if you don't have any experience with sawmills, let me just tell you, it is a physical, hard job. And it's a dangerous job. And so you've always got to be on your toes, literally. But I'm going to saw this log up, and we're going to take a look at what I can get out of it. And then I'm going to show you an example of what I'm trying to explain.
Well, hey guys, this is what I'm talking about as far as cedar. Look what beautiful lumber came out of that small log. Now keep in mind, cedar is not always solid all the way through when you get into the heart. A lot of times it's a little bit doty. But look at this lumber. That's some pretty cedar. I want to apologize about the earlier part of the video having a blur on it. Um, the sun was really bright and the battery went down and when I recharged the battery, I downloaded the video and I saw that. So I apologize for that glare. But this is the example that I was speaking of about how you can just take that log with that sawmill and turn it into this lumber and then with a little bit of craftsmanship, you can just come up with something as simple as this clock. It might look complicated, guys, but it's not. This particular clock, my cousin brought it back to me a few months ago, and I had sold it to him in 1998. And I believe that that makes this thing 25 years old, and it's still holding together. I poured the you can order all these parts from clock kit out of California. And I poured the liquid glass and poured the back, and made some little drawers for it. A little place to put jewelry and trinkets. But I used to make a lot of these. I built grandfather clock, seven foot, grandmother clock, six feet, cherry, walnut, cedar, sassafras i did that in my spare time i always had a full-time job but i like woodworking and every chance i got i would try to try to build something there's no telling how many cedar chests that i have built but i want to encourage you that if you're a woodworker if you want to become a woodworker <laughs> you know you got to get that get that saw dust on you and uh, go from there it's endless of what you can do with a piece of wood. You can, like I said earlier, if you want to keep things simple and make charcuterie boards and cutting boards, that's not a big investment of tools that's going to be required to be able to get to that point. So I want to encourage you that if, if, you're, a, if you're an entrepreneur, if you have that in you, if you want to need to make some extra money, then woodworking is a great, a great start. And you never know where it may lead to. And while I was charging my battery, I noticed I had some peppers and tomatoes that I needed to pick in. So I helped myself and pick this real quick in between the charging on the video. But guys, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, subscribe to the channel. And I've got more videos coming. I'll show you some more things that I've built. Um, I'm going to try to add some photos of some projects that I've done recently here on the homestead and hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one.